Okay, today we're going to be looking at using tables to explore ratios and rates. And so we're simply just making a table of equivalent ratios, a, a table of equivalent rates. And so I'm going to make mine larger. I'm going to take the 4 and I'm going to multiply it by 2. And that's going to give me my next numerator of 8. Well, again, remember, whatever you do to the numerator, you also must do to the denominator. So I'm going to take 9 times 2 and get 18. 8 eighteenths is the same thing as 4 ninths. Now, if you remember from a previous lesson, I told you to make sure that you go back to the original ratio to make your next equivalent ratio. Do not build off of the one you just created. So let's go back to our original ratio. Instead of multiplying by 2, let's multiply it by 3. When I multiply the 4 times 3, I get 12 as my new numerator. Remember, whatever I do to the numerator, I must also do to the denominator. 9 times 3 is 27. So 12 27 is the same thing as 4 ninths. Okay, the reason that I want you to go back to the original fraction is because if you start making these ones larger, your numbers are going to get really big. 12 27 is the same thing as 8 18. 12 27 is the same thing as 4 ninths. But if I chose to take my 12 times 2 and my 27 times 2, I'm going to get really big numbers. So again, go back to your original ratio. Well, I've done 4 times 3, so let's go ahead and do 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Remember, I must also do that to the denominator. 9 times 6 is 54. So 16 54 is the same thing as 12 27, which is the same thing as 8 18. Well, 16 54 is the same thing as 8 18. It's the same thing as 4 9 all of the fractions that we are creating using this process are equivalent fractions. Let's do one more. Let's take 4 times 5. That gives us 20. And 9 times 5 gives us 45. We've created a table of equal ratios. 